There's tea, coffee, cake, sandwiches, help yourselves. Leah, thank you so much for doing the catering. I would have done it, but Charlie didn't ask me. No, I'm happy to do it. And you're hosting. It's more than enough. Thank you. Such a lovely man, so sad. If the memorial's supposed to give you some sense of closure, then I'm not feeling it. I don't think it's supposed to happen that quickly, Rubes. Yeah, but I'm scared I might never feel it. I might feel this sick forever. I go get some sandwiches. I'm not hungry. I won't come in. I know my presence won't be popular. I only wanted to pay my respects. I appreciate that. I didn't know you were in town. I'm here for the arraignment. Thanks for coming. I admired your father a great deal. I know. This is a private function. I'd like you to go. Certainly. My apologies for the intrusion. Well, at least he turned up. Sorry? Well, it's not like many other of Dad's copmates from the city made an effort. It's probably to do with Charlie not wanting to be bothered by the whole thing. Oh, sweetheart, I'm sure that's not the case. Yeah, it is. Warwick, I'm sorry, I should have just asked him to leave straight away. Well, I wasn't quite that polite. Unlike some of us who were looking after the interests of those less worthy. Colleen, I swear, if you start something here, you're going to wear these sandwiches. Irene. All I'm saying is that Will Smith is a liar and you are letting him live under your roof. Will Smith, he's not a liar. He did what very few people in this town had the guts to do, and I'm sick of you yes, running him please. down for it. Are you yeah. calling my brother a murderer? Get the shoe, please. please. OK, I understand this situation's hard on everyone, but I think it would be nice if we didn't let it intrude on the day. Sorry, Sergeant Buckton. So sorry, Dal. If we could just focus on Dad. Oh, I can't listen to this. Maybe wait. Talk to me, what is it? We were all about focusing on Dad now that he's dead. What about when he was alive? Why didn't it matter then? I don't know what you mean. Why didn't you let me visit him, Charlie? I'll never forgive you for that. Ruby, please, that isn't fair. Now just leave me alone. Hey. Hey. If you want to be alone, just tell me. I won't be offended. You guys have been so great through all this. Hey, you've been good to us. Helping Romeo through his HSC and everything. I don't think he'd be so cool about it if it wasn't for you. Still, I feel bad that I'm off to uni and he's stuck repeating year 12. Why do you feel bad? You're not the one who threw your exams. No. I think he got the better end of the deal, though. He gets to hang out with you next year and I'm stuck all on my lonesome. Yeah, I don't know. I think he's probably hating the idea of being stuck with me for a year. No, he couldn't be happier. What's wrong? Nothing. It's silly. It's just... It's such a big change. I, I hope me and Romeo can get through it. We will. <laughs> anyway, I shouldn't be worrying about this on a day like today. No, no, it's good. I've been happy for the distraction. Well, I wish I could keep distracting you, but I've actually got to go to work. Um, <laughs> do you want to come hang out with me at the diner? No. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> well, if you change your mind, let me know. You know where I am. Yeah. Okay. His previous conviction was only... chocolate she really didn't have to send you down with those she didn't it was my idea so you could do with the company thanks but I'm okay Oops. it's just Ross is the closest thing I ever had to a father. And I really miss him. Home yourself it's okay. away from me. You're allowed to. Cause tonight That's what today's all about. I need to be alone as the sun.